you're talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, woo, wheeling dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. Woo! You tuned in to the best. And that's no other than G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. All social media is in the description box. And please hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat. The return of Luis Colazzo is August 4th, 2018 at the Nassau Coliseum in New York City. And Luis Colazzo is coming off of an 18-month layoff. His last fight was in February 2017 when he had the thrilling knockout over, at that point, prospect slash contender Sammy Vasquez. And it was a very impressive performance by Luis Colazzo. But he hasn't fought since. And the one, I would say the one thing about PBC and some PBC fighters is that there's too long of a layoff with some of these guys and sometimes when they get a big victory like they don't jump right back into the ring and capitalize off of the momentum so if I had a criticism in terms of PBC that would be that would be the one issue with the PBC uh, model but Luis Colazzo, August 4th, 2018. The opponent is going to be uh, Bryant Perella. Uh, Perella is 15-1. and one. Uh, He had his one step-up fight and lost to uh, Jordinas Ugas, who is a name that is connected with Earl Spence Jr. Uh, basically, once Earl Spence Jr. gets his next fight, which should be his voluntary Ugas would be the next mandatory for Earl Spence Jr. So Ugas is a, a a good fighter. He's a good fighter. So for Brian Perella to take an L to Ugas is nothing to, you know, feel ashamed about. You know, that was his step-up fight. That was his barometer fight. And he lost that fight at that time. So now he has another barometer fight against Luis Colazzo. I haven't seen much of Bryant Perella. I'm going to have to pull up the Ugas Perella fight. If I can find it on YouTube or if somebody can send it to me, I'll definitely check it out. But for Luis Colazzo to be coming off of an 18-month layoff, Luis Colazzo is a good fighter, but he's not a physically gifted fighter like he's not like a god gifted fighter like he's just he's a southpaw that's complicated and if you don't take him seriously he will give you a lot of trouble Colazzo was not talented enough to where he can take 18 months off and then come right back and he's just sharp the only person that we've seen that can get away with that is Floyd Mayweather and even with Floyd it would take some time for him to get back into a groove in terms of the beginning of the fight. So for Luis Galazzo to take 18 months off and, and to come back, do not be surprised if Bryant Perella gives Luis Galazzo a decent amount of trouble in this fight. I I might actually put Luis Galazzo on some type of um, upset alert specifically for this fight because – you know, I'm pretty sure he's been working in the gym. I'm pretty sure he's been keeping himself in shape. But sparring is not an actual fight. And when you take that much time off, you have to factor in how long is it going to get you to get acclimated in an actual fight. And Brian Perella, he just fought maybe about six, seven months ago. So he it hasn't been that long since he's been in the ring. So... Even though this fight is not on a lot of people's radar, people just look at it as a, okay, Luis Colazzo was back. His name is connected to Earl Spence and, you know, other top welterweights as a possible opponent. Like, this is a this is a big fight for Luis Colazzo, and it's mainly because of the layoff. It's because of the layoff, 
You have to check and see what Luis Colazo's mindset is. He's an older fighter, so it's hard for him to get up against some of these young, up-and-coming guys that don't have a name. So there's a lot of barriers in front of Luis Colazo for this fight. So we're going to see how Luis Colazo responds to what's in front of him, but he's definitely a professional, so I fully expect for him to come out and, you know, do his thing. But it just depends on how long it's going to take for him to actually get back acclimated and get him back into actual fight and game type shape. So this is an interesting fight to me. It may not be to anybody else, but this is an interesting fight to me, and we're going to see how it plays out. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.